Hello, welcome to the atrium video. So today we've got a body weighted sort of exercises. Um, I've also got a bag of beans or tins of stuff because I've got no equipment at my house. So we've just got tins of various things um, and we're just loading up a bag basically to give us some sort of weight to be able to use throughout today. Um, we're gonna just get an ordinary bag, like a school bag and you want to just do it up, put as many tins in as possible, um, and then you give your own weight. You can obviously work it out. It tells me that there's 400 grams in each tin, so I'm going to roughly do 500 lots of, say, 10 or something, uh, and then that'll give me a five kilo bag, right? So that's nice and simple. Um, and then we're going to use that for various exercises. So we're going to do some body weight stuff, and then we're going to incorporate the bag with some weight in there as well to make it a little bit harder um, later on. All right, so... First exercise we've got is some press ups. So we're gonna start with, uh, first round is gonna be a bit slower and we're gonna do a number of them, okay? So we're gonna move this bag out of the way. So we're gonna start off with your press ups. So you've got various press ups. So you can do it on your knees. You've got your standard press ups on your knees like that. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier. You can have your standard, or if you wanted to, you could have your feet up on something. It makes it a tiny little bit harder. But for today, we're just gonna do a normal 10, and then we're gonna incorporate the bag straight after. So we're gonna do 10 press-ups, and we're gonna flip onto the back of the floor, and we're gonna get the weight and do like a close grip press. All right, so we're gonna do number of 10, and it's gonna be up and down relatively slowly. So it's gonna be a two and two tempo, so nice and controlled. Don't wanna be anything too fast, nice and slowly throughout this just so that we can keep a nice good tempo. Good, so the previous exercises I've done, I've done on time, so you could just wrap, wrap them out as much as you want. But this, you want to be nice and controlled. So I think that's number six there. So with this control, you're having to use your muscles on the way up and the way down, controlling it, while, rather than going through with a bit of momentum. So that's eight. We'll say that's eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna flip straight over. How many did I say? 10, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna flip straight over. You're gonna get your bag, and lie on the floor, hold it nice and close, go straight up in the air. Good, with this one you wanna just press up and you wanna try and get your elbows to come as close as together, trying to press them in to the top. And you should feel a nice squeeze at the very, very top of that. As long as you're thinking about trying to get almost like your elbows to touch. You're fully locking your arm out at the very top, pushing your hands as high up through the ceiling as possible, getting your elbows to touch, or imagine they do. You should feel a nice big squeeze at the chest. So let's go with eight, nine, 10. Okay, so that's the first one done. Then now we're gonna do what's called a back lift. So I'm gonna be facing the wrong way for this. You wanna be lying down, like so. We'll do it from a couple of angles. And you're gonna put your arms here and all you're doing is using your arms to lift you up here off the floor so can you see that's the position that i'm doing so you're just going up and down you should feel a nice contraction it's as if you're doing a row so you imagine your hands are here coming up pushing your elbows behind the body does your full thing okay nice little lift off the floor higher up the hands the more the rear shoulder it's going to use so nice and high up push you could, if you wanted to, start up on the elbows and go down. That would do the eccentric, the reverse, the negative. We're just gonna do this one. So just up and down. Nice contraction on the back. At the top, good. Going up and down. The back, good. Okay, so what are we on? Seven, let's say. Eight. Nine. 10, good, okay, now we're gonna stand up. We're gonna get the bag. I'm gonna do a one arm row. So you could hold on to it like this, or you could do it with the handle, whichever one you want, entirely up to you. I'm gonna hold the handles just because my bag's a bit rubbish. And you're gonna come up nice and tight with your one arm. Same as always, nice low row, getting the elbow behind the body. So you see how high, you can see that gap. The sky should be coming up between the two almost. Get that elbow nice and back as far as possible. Good. 
nine, 10. And obviously we've only on one arm. So you're gonna change arm. So the use of one arm is so that the weight is heavier for that one muscle. If we were to use both hands, obviously that weight is then halved. So we wanna do it on one arm so that we can concentrate on the weight on this exercise. Cause your back is quite strong anyway. Trying to keep that elbow as tight to the body as you can. Obviously with the bag in there, gonna make it a little bit harder because it's a big piece of equipment. So you wanna try and keep that elbow nice and tight to the body. That should help you engage the lats a little bit more. So front on, keeping that elbow tight to the body. Nine, 10. Okay, so that's your back rows done. Ooh, feeling it a little bit now. So now we're gonna do a little bit of shoulder stuff. So we're doing, unfortunately, we haven't got many things for shoulders with body weight. So we're gonna to have to just put up with doing a few more press ups, but you're gonna adapt it. So you've probably seen me do these already. You have your bum up, nice big A frame, and then you're just gonna go straight down over the top to do your shoulder press, okay? So you're going over the top, downwards. We don't wanna use the bag just yet because we're gonna be doing that already. So you see the angle I'm getting nice and tight. So that's a big tight angle. Nice over the top. You could again do your knees down and you're gonna go over the top. You wanna come round and making sure that your head is in between your hands at the bottom. That will help you. But otherwise, you're fit and able, I want you to have your bum nice and high. Good, you've got two more to do, just for good measure. One, two, okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is get the bag. Gonna get your bag again. And obviously you've got your handle on here, so we're gonna have to use that. I want you to pop it so you come up, round to the side, the way it's at the back. And now you've got a one arm shoulder press. Okay, so you're going up. So we've got 10 of these on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is good because it's setting the balance a little bit. So you've got to control it a little bit more than you would normally. Oh, one more. Good, all right. Then we're gonna change, change hand. Up to the top, round the back, and up. So we've got one, good. Good start. Nice and controlled throughout. Your hand comes down to about ear level or anywhere lower, just slightly, not too low. If you come down all the way here, you're struggling to use your shoulder to use the muscle at all. So you wanna keep tension on there. So same as always, nice and slow. Number six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, so that's both arms done. Brilliant. Good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the um, upper body as this is a whole body upper body, sorry. Um, so we're going to be doing a one arm bicep and then a two arm tricep. So we've got two sets of those, because obviously we've got two arms, um, and we're using the weight for both on the triceps. So that's why we're doing it both on there. Okay, so nice and simple, because it's a antagonist and agonist, we're gonna be using one side and the back side. Um, so we're gonna use the front. So you're just nice and simple with the bag, nice and controlled. making sure that your body is upright, elbow stays as much as possible in that same position. You don't wanna move around too much. You are gonna be a little bit of movement because of the momentum of the bag. So I'm gonna use the other grips instead now, just so that I can try and eliminate that a little bit. That's a bit better. And that five kilos obviously was not too hard with your exercises when you use them for back, but for biceps, it's gonna be quite a bit harder because we've already used them a little bit. Down, I'm gonna do two more. One. 
for two. Okay, then we're gonna do your tricep. So you're gonna come up high like this, over the back and over the top. Try and keep the elbows as best you can together. Nice extensions at the top, so that's three, four. So we've got two sets of these, obviously, because you've got two arms, and we're doing one set on one side of the bicep, and then for the tricep, six, let's say, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so bring the weight around the front back to the other arm and then we've got one more set on the tricep okay so stood up nice and tall shoulders back up for one good try and keep your hand position as best you can the same in both sides so if you're someone who does like an alternate so you do this into the um, up-handed grip open hand then that's fine I wasn't doing that so I'm gonna keep it nice and flat throughout on both of them so they're both doing the same movement at both times because what you don't want is to have a different grip because that's going to recruit different muscles. You want to be nice and even throughout. Good, let's say that's eight now. Nine. Ten. Okay, and then we're back to the tricep again. So around the back. Up above again. Straight up. We could do this with two. You could do it with one hand, you might be really good, and in which case that's great, you can do it. But for me, I know that that weight is going to be a little bit of a test for both sides. Probably going to be a little bit of compromise on form. So even though we are in isolation, we want to make sure that we're keeping form up, we're keeping safe throughout. So let's say five, six just for good measure. Always like an extra rep if you've got one. Seven, eight nine ten good going all right okay so that's your upper body bit done and of course upper body is that so we're going to do some abs in the middle all right so we're going to start with a high crunch one of my favorites so we go down we're doing 15 reps of these so we've got 15 reps of the high crunch then we're going to do reverse abs afterwards okay so we're like we're in an ab position gonna go straight up Nice reach. So this is engaging the upper part, making sure we're getting nice and high. So that's three. Shoulder blades should be coming off the floor. Nine, ten. We've still got fifteen. So obviously your hands depend on where you want to be and how easy it is that's 13 down the bottom is a bit easier at the top is the hardest 14 one more 15 okay and now we've got reverse crunch so we're going to be using the legs here so we're coming back and forwards if you want to make it harder you could twist which will get your abs your obliques sorry involved but just for demonstration we're going to be doing this one just backwards and forwards one more 14 50 perfect Okay, Woo. well done. So we've got one more lot of exercises for round one. So we've got elbow to knee. Okay, so this is a hard one. I, I particularly don't like this one, but it's a good one because it involves a lot of the, the uh, components in your abs. Okay, so then we're gonna do an elbow to knee. So we're gonna keep this to 16 reps so that we can do eight on each side because I find this quite hard. So we're not gonna do too, too many. We only need 15 reps anyway. So off we go. So bringing the elbow up and the knee to the top as well. 
you'll probably find that later on you're going to use your arms to pull you up try your best not to do that have a little hold at the top as well if you can rather than swinging rather than doing that you're not really doing anything just make sure you get that hold at the top 14 15 one more 16 okay so that's round one done Whew. you know you've done your abs well when you're hard hard to talk okay so we're going to have roughly about 30 second uh, rest now and then we're going to go back and do it all because there's not it's not been too heavy um you obviously can set your own bag up and you know your own weights to be able to do 10 to 15 reps in these areas so apart from personally for me apart from my abs the thing that's really that is the thing that's kicking off so everything else is not too bad so we're not going to have too much of a rest obviously if you're um if you're finding this a little bit harder, you can have longer in the rest, all right? So we wanna try and keep those reps as best we can. So 30 seconds is up, we're gonna start again. Okay, so we're back to the press-ups. So off we go. So we've only got, we've got four rounds of this. So we've done one. Okay, so off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten all right so that's ten of those done already then we grab the bag straight away and we're off for the other ten of the close grip so again off we go remember pulling those elbows in nice and tight when you get to the top six Eight, nine, ten. Okay, right, so straight into the back lifts. Off we go. So we're going to do it this way, facing again, so you can see what we're doing. Ten of the back lifts. So off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. With this one, make sure you hold at the top for a second. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Okay, so straight up and over into your one arm rows. Off we go. So up tall. Nice and tight with the body. Two. Seven, eight, ten. Okay, straight on to the next one. Remember keeping that elbow as tight as you can. Ten already done okay so now we've got the pike press up again we're back to shoulders so off we go one two try and get higher up if you can you put more pressure on the shoulders Nine, ten. Okay. Whew. So back to shoulder press. So you get the weight up. 
I'm gonna hold on to these handles instead. Pop it round the back and then up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and up tall. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight into the next one, same side, opposite side, sorry. Up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So by also keeping the exercise on one muscle group also makes it a little bit easier for us to negate the problem that we've got no equipment and the lack of weight. So putting in more reps um, will get a little bit of a better result from that. Okay, right, so the next one is back to the bike curls. So we're gonna grab the handles, up we go. So nice and tall. Again, trying to keep the elbow in the same place as best as possible straight up so that's one stopping at the top will help with the momentum stop Okay, so again, you could do that with both arms. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Back to the tricep. So down as low as you can, get a nice stretch up to the top. So that's one, two. So I'm still upright tall, just the bag is coming up and down. Like that. Trying to keep those elbows in that nice tight position. You don't want to be going out wide if possible. Just keep them nice and tight so you can focus on the tricep as best as possible. Six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. So change arm. Two more, and then we're done. Nine, 10, good. All right, okay, back to the last tricep one. So we've had a quick turnaround the last set. I was talking quite a bit. So now, if you're carrying on with me, you know what we're doing, and you've got your variations. If you wish to do so, you can either add the weight in, obviously, or take the weight out, or separate on one arm or two arms. So we're trying to get a quick turnaround to try and keep intensity on as best we can throughout. So last round, whoops, last round, I wasn't really feeling it in the tries, but now I am, because we haven't had much rest in between. The sets, the transfers have been nice and quick. So one more, 10, Whew. nicely done. Okay, so this is where it's gonna kill me off. So high crunches, Whew. on the floor, off we go, nice and high. So we've got 15 of these. I use my hands here just so that I follow the line of just going up into the air so that I'm not doing this sort of thing because you don't want to affect your lower back. We're just lifting the, the scaps up a little bit just so that <coughs> protects our lower back.
say 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now, legs down the bottom. <clears throat> Off we go. Put hands underneath just to protect it a little bit. Seems we haven't got a big lot of padding on the floor. So reverse abs, that's number two. Nice and controlled throughout, rather than throwing your legs around again. Get nice control over the muscle movement. Nine, maybe 10, maybe. <laughs> Fifteen, last one. There we go. Okay, so getting nicely warmed up in my abs now. All right. Okay, so elbow to knee. This is the hard one for me. So again, we've got to do sixteen. So coming up tall. So that's one. Nice little hold at the top. You see how much my head is moving? Not a lot. Probably need to try and get that up a bit higher. So we're gonna have a bit of a rest again. <sighs> done well, well done there. Okay, so a little bit of a rest again and we gotta do it two more times. So you've done well so far, really, really well done. <sighs> so again, we're keeping intensity on um, by using the same muscle groups um, with a weight and then splitting it from two arms to one arm, um, which should help uh, affect or should help you guys who do not have equipment who have been affected by this whole isolation thing. All right, okay, so let me get a bit of water on, why not? While we can. And then again, so this round, we wanna try and not have any breaks, or not breaks, but try and break the, uh, the time in between. Uh, the transfers, okay, so off we go to start with. Okay, so starting with the press-ups. So off we go. Ten already, good. Quick turnaround. Already done. Then we've got your back raises. So your back lifts. Ooh. Ten again. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more, 10, Woo. quick turn around everybody, straight up, off we go, one arm rows, one, oh, we'll do the other side first actually, because we've done this side to start with each time, so we're going to keep up intensity on the left side this time, so we've done two rounds with it, so the last two we're going to do with the left hand. Ooh. 
nine, one more, ten. Nine, ten. Ooh, well done. Straight on to the pike press up. Blah, 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 blah. Get my words mixed up. Pike press up. So off we go. We don't want any breaks or any gaps in between as best you can. Off we go. Ooh. Nice and high. Get a bit harder. Pull it in a bit. Straight up, same as before. We've done one arm first, we're gonna do the other one. So it's all about the left side this time. Up we go. Five. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. Getting a little bit tired now, that's fine. If you wanted to, you could take some of the weight out of the bag. It's up to you. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Woo. Okay, so now we've got your one arm bicep curl. So we obviously did it on the right arm. So we're keeping it all on the left, the last two. So up nice and tall, same as always. Run eight already. Nine, ten. Okay, so now we do the right. Eight, go on, two more, nine, ten, well done. Whew. Okay, then, what are we on? Triceps, aren't we? Oh, I've done it wrong, never mind. We'll see if we can do it with one arm, shall we? Probably be a bit too hard. We'll give it a go, shall we? Oh no, it might be all right. We'll do it with one, shall we? Keep that elbow up nice and high. Six. This is the only problem with the bag. It wobbles around too much. I don't want to do it with that one. We'll have to do six on this side. Getting too caught up in video rather than thinking about what I'm doing. So you can obviously see how you would do this on one arm, but for purposes that obviously I've messed up. So that's six on each side. All right, so now we're gonna put, put, put a little bit. We're gonna pop it over the top. We're gonna do both this time. Make sure we get a nice narrow grip. Ten. 
All right, so we did six already and we did another 10 with both. So I'm gonna leave it for that one set. So we messed it up, never mind, doesn't matter. We'll do the next ones right. Okay, so last one. This is the last round, so what time are we on? 45, okay, so we've got another 30 seconds rest. We've got to do it once more, and we're not gonna get it wrong. We're not gonna get it wrong. So we're gonna do um, everything on the left arm first, as so to speak, so that we get them nice evened out, obviously. Um, the right arm, if you do that, you have less rest with the right arm than if you do with the left one. Um, so we not like to even stuff out. Whew, so. A little bit of water for the last round and then we're done and you can go and have your cups of teas. Enjoy your isolation still. Okay, so 30 seconds is up already. So last round, no breaks. We've done really well for keeping up. Okay, so you've done really well. <clears throat> I'm going to go into one last time. Okay, so normal press-ups for the last time today. Up we get. Off we go. Ten done already. Nice and quick. Good going. So back onto the back lifts. Oh, you know what I didn't do is the abs. <laughs> oh, this isn't going very well, is it, really? I'm not concentrating. Okay, come on. All right, so you've got a video. This is a video. You can pause it, do your abs stuff. Never mind. Never mind. All right, okay. So back into the back lifts. Up we go. Two. Nine, one more. Ten. Woo. Up we get. Into the next one. Last ones. So, starting with the left arm first. And do your rows. Get the elbow nice and tight. Get that elbow behind the body. Nine, ten. So that's that one done already. <sighs> Try that way around. <clears throat> Two, three, four, seven. Nine, one more. Ten, good. Woo. So, back into your pike press ups. Last one of these that we're going to do. So, hands down. Get a nice tight angle between the two. So, off we go. Ten of these. them again brilliant flying through get your bag on the back Ooh. 
getting heavy now. Six. Oh. I'm gonna have to have a rest, you know. Six. Whew. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. Ten. Whew. Jeez. Okay. Up we go. Whoops. Get the bag round the back, shall we? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Good go. Now we're going in buys. So we're going to start on the left again, but we've got to make sure to do them over the top. So. Up we go. So that's number one. Nine, one more. Ten. <clears throat> so now we've got to remember to go over the back. There we go. Okay, so we're over the back. Triceps nice and high. Do it this way this time. Triceps up nice and high. Elbows up nice and high. Good. So we've got two rounds of these. So it's going to be a little bit easier than before. Still putting pressure on them because we've got two rounds on it to go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. So back in again to the other arm for the bicep. Ten. Ooh, that last one felt like pretty heavy. Okay, so do it again. Last one of these, and then we're actually going to do the abs this time. <laughs> okay, so again, nice and high. Off we go. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh, thank goodness for that. My arms are dead. Okay, so we're nearly at the finish. This is the last bit we've got to do. So ab crunch, off we go. Good, 15 of these. Seven. Thirteen already. Or oh, fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Okay, so hands underneath. Give us a bit of a cushion. And we'll do those ab lifts. Up uh, uh, reverse crunch. Off we go. Very. 
keeping that control. It might be the last round, but I want you to try and keep as best as you can with that control. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Done. Well done. Now we've got the last one, the killer. The elbow to knee. Off we go. Karana. <coughs> survived you've done a good job well done let me come in a bit closer shall we <sighs> well done everybody done really well in that one good going if you needed longer rests fine don't worry you've obviously got your own weight in there choose whatever you want to do the exercises whether you want to do it one arm two arm i've given you variations for various exercises um if you need any help or whatever just comment down below share it with everybody let everybody know we're still doing stuff That'll be great. Thank you very much. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.